It's a report that the entire world is now talking about. A Chinese military report. As per the details that we've been able to access, authored as early as 2015, and the whole world is discussing this report. And Republic TV has accessed some critical parts of it. And I have Major General Jiri Bakshi to join us, but uh, you know who has uh, joined us on this broadcast. But before he, I go across to him. I want to bring out some details of what we've accessed about this report. And first up, first up, let's tell all our viewers about this report that the whole world is talking about. It's a Chinese military report, and the Chinese military scientists allegedly investigated a weaponizing coronaviruses five years before the COVID-19 pandemic, and may have predicted a World War III fought with biological weapons, according to media reports referring to documents obtained by the US State Department. According to UK media, which also has quoted media reports in Australia, the documents obtained by the US State Department reportedly show that the Chinese People's Liberation Army commanders making the sinister prediction. US officials allegedly also obtained the papers which were written by military scientists and senior Chinese public health officials in 2015 as part of their own investigation into the origins of COVID-19. These Chinese scientists reportedly described SARS coronaviruses, of which COVID is one of uh, the examples as presenting a new era of genetic weapons. It's an alarming report. I have Major General Chidi Bakshi, a defense expert, and also Captain Alok Bansal of, uh, of, of India Foundation. is a director of India Foundation. Let me go across to him first. Captain, uh, Captain Alok Bansal, going through the details of this report that we have accessed, and I have some pages of the report with me. In the complete report, it's in Chinese, a few parts translated. The report itself has raised many questions. It has references to bioweapons, biowarfare. It has references, the PLA papers, that is, referencing fantasizing about a bioweapon attack that could cause the enemy's medical system to collapse. I repeat, this Chinese document from 2015 mentioned how the enemy's medical system could collapse. I want your response to that, Captain Bunsen. See, there is no doubt. We always had a doubt uh, when this virus emerged in the global arena. It started in Wuhan, where China had the bio uh, uh, lab. In fact, uh, China has been uh, working towards bio warfare for a very long time. And more specifically, in recent times, the way this pandemic has flared up in India, there is every possibility that this could be just a manifestation of bio warfare, which they have been talking about. Because the way from almost near normalcy in February, uh, March, we have actually reached the current status. It shows that it may not be a natural phenomena, but could be a vicious uh, attempt by an adversary to indulge in bio warfare. Let me get in with General J.D. Bakshi as well. General Bakshi, this report includes some musings that SARS, which hit China in 2003, could have been a man-made bioweapon deliberately unleashed by terrorists. Also boasts that the virus could be artificially manipulated into an emerging human disease virus, then weaponized and unleashed in a way never seen before. And it has some of China's top public health figures among the authors, has been revealed also in an upcoming book on the origins of COVID titled What Really Happened in Wuhan. If nothing else, like Captain Bunsel said, it raises many questions. But can China dismiss this? They've dismissed it today in a statement, but can they dismiss it completely? General Bakshi. And I, and I would like to humbly submit that there is a tremendous amount of circumstantial evidence. We may not have the smoking gun, and but we will get it shortly. It will come out. The world is going for it. 158 million people have been infected. 3 million people are dead. The global, global economy has been ruined. You know, the simple fact is that in the year 1999, I want to tell you that two Chinese senior colonels, Wang Jiangxi 
and Colonel Kiao Liang had published a book, Unrestricted Warfare. Now you may say that's just a book. Then in 210, a second book was published, War for Power. This was by Guo Jaiwi, Chinese Army University uh, person, who outlined the concept of war with biological characteristics. But the most dangerous thing, the most uh, disturbing facet is that in 2017, the official PLA military doctrinal document called Science of Military Strategy added a new chapter, Biology as a Domain of Military Struggle. We had Lieutenant General Zan Zeng writing on weaponizing the virus. Weaponizing the virus. You see, so this is not a figment of the imagination. How can a country's official military doctrine talk of biological warfare, weaponizing the virus, genetic engineering of viruses? Now let me give you fact number two. Look at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. It is led by two Chinese generals, serving generals. There is General, you know, uh, Sheng Li. Uh, Shi Zheng Li. She is called the bat woman of China. She has been working on bat corona viruses for the past so many years. And she wrote four papers which describe how the SARS hook molecule, the S molecule, can be spliced onto the bat corona virus so that it is then can be transmitted to humans. As of now, the bat corona virus in nature had not made the jump from bat to human. How has it become possible all of a sudden? Because genetically it has been engineered and this is a gain of function kind of a exercise to make this virus far more lethal, far more contagious. You know, my simple humble point is, you know, this virus originated in China. How come there are no mutations in China? This virus, the first wave, was not very lethal. It was contagious, but not very lethal in India. The variant that was in Italy and the United States was far more lethal. So suddenly, all of a sudden, we have the next wave coming up in India, not in Pakistan, not in Nepal, not in Bangladesh, not in uh, Sri Lanka. Does the virus know boundaries? Can it sense uh, geographical boundaries of nations? No, no, there is something far more sinister and that beats the, more than beats the eye. The circumstantial evidence is overwhelming. How can a nation state, which has a signatory to the convention banning biological weapons, have in its official military doctrine and I'm talking of the 2017 version of the Science of Military Strategy, an official document of the PLA. How can it talk of biological warfare? How can it talk of weaponizing the virus? And then they do it? Last year they were under pressure. Donald Trump had put them under severe pressure in Hong Kong and Xinjiang because of the trade tariff uh, war that were taking place. They were under pressure. And in panic or in however, whether it is an accidental release or a deliberate release. And the more we see of these mutations, the more we are con getting now worried that this is not even accidental. This could be deliberate biological warfare exercise, a biological Pearl Harbor in keeping with their official military doctrine of the PLA as spelt out in the 2017 edition of the Science of Military Strategy. Now that's not a novel. That is an official military publication of the Chinese. And you know, this is no way to fight. You know, and if this charge, you know, we is substantiated, then Nuremberg trial need to be held of those people in the Chinese authority, Central Military Commission or wherever who have authorized the use of biological weapons. I hope you've seen the official doctrine of the United States, the official nuclear doctrine of India. If somebody uses chemical 
biological or radiological or nuclear war weapons against us we reserve the right to go nuclear i mean this is not a joke we deal with one wave of the virus you start a second we deal with the second mutation you get third fourth fifth sixth tenth mutation is it so difficult to spread an aerosol spray yes please yes narayan chal bakshi i i you know it's it's there are too many coincidences like you said yes. and like captain bansal also sort of uh, you know uh, uh, you know mentioned and i have i have ankit paliwal ankit paliwal uh, you know is a very senior member of our editorial team and he's been uh, closely in touch with uh, people who are in 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 possession of this document and he has more details of it and i'll, and I'll tell you some more details that we have picked up i'd like to read it out for our viewers it this is not just a report that is coming out in indian media now the australian media has picked it up in the uk the story has been picked up and there are too many coincidences let me tell you among the 18 listed authors of the document are people's liberation army scientists and weapons experts robert potter who's a cyber security specialist analyzes leaked chinese government documents he was asked by the australian media he says document is not fake and you know experts have said with high confidence that the document is genuine it's not fake it's up to people on how to interpret it now there are functionaries from from different media houses who are also looking at it policy experts saying that the document as close to a smoking gun as we have got on covid-19 so it's not a small story i want to go across to ankit paliwal who's picking up more details ankit what more are you picking up how is the global media looking at it and experts who are in the know analyzing this document ji uh बिल्कुल सबसे पहले हमको ये समझने की जरूरत है जहाँ पर पूरी दुनिया के साइंटिस्ट जो हैं वो इस जो पैंडेमिक इस वक्त पूरा जो चीज़ झेल रही है जो कोरोना वायरस पूरा दुनिया झेल रही है उसमें सब लोग अपने एक्सपर्टीज़ का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं क्या आपको लगता है कि 2015 में चाइना जो है वो चाइना 2015 में कोरोना वायरस को डिस्कस कर रहा था एज अ बायोलॉजिकल वेपन इस्तेमाल करने के लिए ये कितनी बड़ी अलार्म है या खतरे की घंटी है पूरी दुनिया के लिए तो ये जो डॉक्यूमेंट है वो रिपब्लिक टी के पास एक्सक्लूसिव अब जो है आप देख आप हमारे जो श्रोता हैं वो देख रहे हैं तो ये जो डॉक्यूमेंट है ये डॉक्यूमेंट बहुत सारी चीज़ें बोल रहा है जैसे कि आपने बताया कि स्मोकिंग गन वर्ड इस्तेमाल आपने किया है बिल्कुल दुनिया ये डॉक्यूमेंट सामने आने के बाद दुनिया भर में जो अलग अलग देशों के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव है चाहे वो यूके हो ऑस्ट्रेलिया हो कनाडा हो सारे लोग जो है वो यही कह रहे हैं कि ये जो डॉक्यूमेंट सामने आया है इसके बाद एक जांच होनी चाहिए और जांच के अंदर जो है ये पता लगाना चाहिए कि आखिर चाइना कर क्या रहा है चाइना की साजिश क्या है चाइना जो है वो दुनिया को जीतने के लिए किस तरीके के भयानक वेपन जो है उसका इस्तेमाल कर रहा है तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल है दुनिया के सामने जो अभी रिपब्लिक टीवी ने अपने श्रोताओं को दर्शकों को डॉक्यूमेंट्स के जरिए दिखाया या आई वांट टू गो बैक कैप्टन बंसल कैप्टन बंसल नाउ डस डस दिस रिपोर्ट यू नो इफ नथिंग एल्स शो दैट यू नो दिस इज एस क्लोज टू अ स्मोकिंग गन uh we can we can get to on on covid-19 because it has references that you can't deny it begins to firm up the possibility that we have here the accidental release possibly of a pathogen for military use is what some experts are saying and the global experts also saying that it clearly shows that chinese scientists were thinking about military application for different strains of coronavirus See, it's there is no begin, doubt. It's beginning to raise more questions, Captain Bunsen. Undoubtedly. See, firstly, we understand that uh, going through these documents, we know that they have been thinking in these lines. They have been thinking on these lines of using coronavirus and different types of viruses as bio weapons. The very fact that the PLO and the research on virus is actually interlinked, as General Bakshi said, that. the wuhan institute of virology is headed by pla personnel the serving generals of the pla indicates that they have always felt that this study which they are doing of the viruses will help them to further their agenda of bio warfare the way things have happened subsequently 
have indicated, and this has not been proved by us. In fact, recently, a Japanese scientist very clearly said that this COVID-19 virus is not a natural virus. It's an artificially created virus. The mutations that have come, have many of them have actually been artificially engineered. And the best way is that we should know that till we had this confrontation in Ladakh, the situation in India was under control. We had a uh, virus strain which was uh, not very lethal. And all of a sudden, after this confrontation in Ladakh, we see that all of a sudden the graph starts rising, and now we have we become the uh, epicenter of this uh, global pandemic. Now this shows that it is not a natural phenomena. There is something which has been done, and what has been done has already been articulated by them in various doctrines and various documents. Now you have a very strong circumstantial evidence. Here is a country which is talking of using bioweapons. Uh, there is a country which is talking of using coronaviruses to inflict damage on other countries by overwhelming their medical systems. And this is what is happening today with us. And not only that, we can see that in just a few months back, we had a physical confrontation with China on our borders. So all this add up to a very, very clear enunciation that what we are facing today is nothing but an attempt by China to indulge in bio-warfare by uh, propagating this sort of strain of virus which is extremely uh, virulent and extremely lethal. And I think they have targeted, one of the countries they have targeted, in fact, you see the countries which are most affected. It is the US and India, the two countries with which China has an adversarial relationship. Yeah. So the two most affected countries are US and India. So there is, as I said, a very, very strong circumstantial evidence. And this is further proved by the fact that China is even today reluctant to allow international scientists to come to Wuhan and investigate how this virus originated. They have been consistently withholding. And any Chinese citizen also coming out with any report on this particular virus, he has been put behind bars, they have been charged, they have been imprisoned. So this shows that there is something which China is trying to hide. And there can be nothing else but the fact that this is nothing but an attempt, a willful attempt by China yeah. to indulge in bio-warfare. Okay. Uh, quickly taking a, one one last word from General Bakshi, and then I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have right, to take a short break. A point. General Bakshi, quickly, if you can summarize, you know what 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 you think we should be closely looking at for now. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, General Bakshi. Yes. Uh, you see, like I said, the uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology is led by two major generals of the Chinese People's Liberation Army: Shi Zhengli, Major General Chen Wei. Major General Chen Wei was serving in Africa where he dealt with the Ebola virus and with the Zika virus and he was trying to develop antidotes etc. for them. There are the two top virologists of the Chinese People's Liberation Army looking after the Wuhan Institute of Virology directing the program. You link it with their officially enunciated doctrine, the science of military strategy, the whole chapter on uh, uh, weaponizing the virus, using genetically engineered viruses to overwhelm their enemies. And then the theory is followed up by action. When the WHO team went to Wuhan, they were quarantined for yeah. 15 days while the Chinese People's Liberation Army cleaned up Wuhan. The team was given no access to blood samples, no access to the draining water supplies. No, you know, they were not taken to two critical hospitals. They were given no access to documentation and personnel. You think the rest yeah. of the world are idiots? You can cause so much damage and just get away with it? You know, I mean, uh, look at the number of people who have died. Every day we are getting reports of, you know, my own batchmates have passed away. Three of them in the last, uh, in the last just one week. This is the damage we are suffering. The world is suffering. The global economy yeah. is close to collapse. And China thinks yeah. it can just, uh, you know, get away with it. They haven't fought a war for the last 44 years. They have a conscript army of princelings. Single child families who are not capable of fighting. Incapable of fighting. And this is the way you choose to fight? 
I mean, this is despicable. These are crimes against humanity. Yeah. Crimes against Just, humanity. And somebody yeah. will Jal have Bakshi. to answer for it. The world will have to show the will to yeah. hold Nuremberg style trials. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. I have to take a short break. So sorry for interrupting you there with the promise of, you know, coming back to the subject because we have, uh, you know, some exclusive interviews lined up on this as well later on today. So with that promise, I'm thanking both Captain Bansal and uh, General G.D. Bakshi and also Ankit Paliwal, who's been able to access most of the information on the story. We'll take a short break and we'll come back with the headlines. Stay tuned.